Hey guys, what's going on? Russo here bringing you guys another player review today. And today we have a review of the man of the match, Emmanuel Adebayor, the Tottenham Hotspurs striker from the BPL, guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of his face card stats. So, 74 pace, guys, 82 dribbling, 80 shooting, 48 defense, 67 passing, and 84 heading. As you guys can imagine, you do know his regular card, or most of you should know who this player is, and he is very tall, so that is the reason why the heading on this card is the best stat. Now, as you guys may notice, he is an orange card, so he did get a man in the match for the African Cup of Nations, for I believe it is Togo. Uh, don't get me wrong, guys. If I am wrong, make sure to correct me in the comment section below, uh, but I do believe it is Togo. I could be completely wrong. So, anyways, guys, let's go ahead and compare him to his normal card so as you can see he did get a couple of increases and he does have three star weak foot and does have four star skill moves the four star skill moves are absolutely ep epic on him they're absolutely epic for a guy being 6-3 to have four star skill moves uh, basically reminds me of Ibrahimovic, but Ibra has 5-star. That is a completely different level. Um, I mean, if Adebayor had 5-star, he would probably be a lot more expensive. So, as you guys can tell, I did buy mine for 151,000 coins for the Man of the Match card. Um, and as you can see, the only problem I really had with Adebayor, Adebayor guys, was that he was a little slow on the ball. So, I did play him in a striker position in a 4-3-3, as you guys can see. Did manage to put away 8 goals in 11 games, so... He definitely did perform very well and was in the right place at the right time and it has some very good stats but before we get into the pace and all the other attributes on this card let's go ahead and take a look at some of the in-game stats so 86 ball control guys 90 finishing which is very good 87 head heading accuracy being 6-3 with 84 heading that's very good as well 93 penalty guys and 90 shot power so he's a very good shot when he does get his foot on the ball and he is able to finish very well since he does have high finishing also 92 volleys which is a good stat so as you guys can see he has a medium attacking work rate and a low defensive work rate so he is up he is up on the ball uh, for the most part on most of the times and he does play a very good striker position so 70 acceleration so he is fairly slow and 78 sprint speed like I mentioned before he is only 74 pace um, which is one of the biggest downfalls but he does have 86 strength so he can get around the defenders can get them off the ball and try to get those headers in so unfortunately I wasn't able to get too many headers with him uh, ironically the first goal that we do store score is a header off the corner kick guys but the way that I usually play is I don't pace it down the wings um, I really try to draw players into the middle pass the ball around a little bit and I don't really tend to cross the ball so as you guys can see I am doing moves with Adebayo, I'm doing some skill moves. I will incorporate some four-star skill moves in there at some point that you guys will see in the goals. Um, but I basically don't run the ball down the wings and cross it, so I wasn't able to get too many heading goals. Uh, I try to get some on corner kicks, but nonetheless, guys, he's very good when he does get his head on the ball. As you guys can see right there, he does have 74 pace, so it is a little hard for him to outpace the defense, um, which is his biggest downfall. My suggestion, guys, and this is an absolutely beautiful finish right there. That's where the finishing comes in and the shot power, but my suggestion, guys, would be to play him at a center forward position rather than the striker because the center forward can, you know, they can take on the slower role. So a center forward is really there to pass the ball, and uh, he can also be a target man. I'm thinking in a 4-1, 4-4-1, excuse me, guys, or in a 4-2-3-1. He can be a really nice center forward forward for you um, I did play him at striker but like I mentioned guys he is a little slow nice movement right here from Podolski and uh, Adebayor is in the right place at the right time with that very high volleys uh, and I believe 92 so it was either 92 or 93 but um, as you can see he's very good on the ball as well he can dribble fantastic uh, the four star skill moves are definitely awesome and he can finish off very nicely so only real downfalls of this card guys is his pace but he was an absolutely excellent card to play with and uh, I definitely recommend trying him out and having some orange in your team uh, isn't necessarily a bad thing so hopefully you guys did enjoy I will be coming out with three more man of the match reviews this week so be prepared guys it's going to be awesome man of the match week right here for the African Cup of Nations on my channel so thank you guys for watching if you guys did enjoy it make sure you guys do leave a like as it does help me out and I'm very appreciative of that but until next time guys this has been Russo and have a good one